lordy lordy lord, so I just finished filming a video and I'm not even going to change my outfit because Jeffree Star just posted a video called Doing What's Right. The video is 10 minutes long and the thumbnail is all dramatic, it's him like... <laughs> How are you going to do a video breaking your silence with a dramatic ass thumbnail? Like... like All jokes write themselves. So the video was incredibly wishy-washy, but I wrote down some key points and we're gonna talk about them and I'm gonna talk about why the video sucks. So, welcome! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. It's 1 a.m. when I'm filming this video, but you know what? Boom, 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 let me hear you say way oh, way oh. Boom, 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 let me hear you say way oh, way oh. I'm losing my mind. Do you wanna know the truth? I'm losing my mind. Honestly. I also just drank three Red Bulls. So he starts off the video by saying he's been silent for a long time. Yes, you have. Then he says in the past he's been guilty of speaking out of anger. Not just the past, even the present too. He said he was quick to grab his phone and say what was on his mind. Jeffrey, you still do that now. Literally a few weeks ago you were like sending hate to people who were responding to your tweets. <laughs> What's that about boy? Was that not out of anger? He says it's the first time he's reflecting on his behavior. Oh, he's so zen. And his own behavior. Nobody else's. Ooh. Dramatic. He said he came to a lot of realizations. We all did. He said he wanted to talk about everything he was a part of and done wrong. It's about time. He said it was about time he talked about everything he was a part of and done wrong. It's about time, Jeffrey. He said he wants a new chapter of his life. Okay. He said today there's no excuses even though this is the most wishy-washy video ever. He said last year when he did a video called Never Doing This Again about the drama. You know what? I said it. I was like, he's gonna do a video called Doing This Again. <laughs> he said he meant it, but 2020's been crazy and he added to it. You also added to 2019 being crazy and 2018 being crazy and 2017 being crazy and 2016 being crazy. Every year. <laughs> 2020 isn't just the exception. He said he meant every single word he said in the never doing this again video. Obviously not, Jeffrey, because you were involved in some shady shit after you posted that video too. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> he said, today I will not be exposing anyone. And he made reference to Antati's video where she said, we better be ready to forgive everyone after Jeffrey does his video. And he said, I'm not like that. Jeffrey, yes you are. Stop trying to paint a narrative that you're this innocent person. Oh my god, I would never drag people. No, it's not me. It's not in my character. <laughs> he kept emphasizing that it was not who he is. Do you believe that? Let's do an Instagram poll. Yes or no? Which one are you voting for? <laughs> he said his lawyers are entertaining this, but not him. But you're sending this stuff to your lawyers, so you are. <laughs> he said if you accept you are the problem, then you can be the solution. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'm going to take that advice in my future. Thank you, it's so inspirational. <laughs> he said in the past he's put himself in the victim slot. News to me. But he said there are no excuses. But Jeffrey, there always has been with you. <laughs> he said he's an impulse controller, but he's admitting his flaws today. And he doesn't think things through. But it's time to address the situation. But can I say in this video, he's sitting in the most expensive sofa, the biggest sofa, and like, the most expensive backdrop, and he's like, let me talk about the drama. I'm above it all. I'm working on myself. I'm so zen. Like, <laughs> like yes, Jeffrey, you're so relatable. Me and Derry in Ireland, I can relate to you. Wow. He said about how people were putting time on it for him to address the situation. Like, Jeffrey, if you don't talk about it by this date, then you're wrong. And he was like, I needed my time. You never needed your time before this. He said he was always quick to do what people wanted right away. No, Jeffrey, it was what you wanted. Nobody wanted what you've done in the past. He said <laughs> he hasn't been on social media in weeks because he's been finding himself. Jeffrey, you have been liking Instagram posts for the past couple weeks. You have not not been on social media. People have been exposing every day that you've been liking Instagram posts. 
Black China posted a series of pictures with you and you liked them immediately. People have been saying, Jeffrey, just like this post. Jeffrey, you've been on Instagram. You've been liking things on social media. And now you're like, I haven't been on social media. I've been finding myself. Boy, please, please, we are not dumb. We are not stupid. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Can't get over it. But he said he's remembering why he's here. Ooh. And he says how his actions can affect other people. He's not a villain in a movie. Why is it all so dramatic? And then he referenced when people take down others and it doesn't work, so you try to take down a few others. No, Jeffrey. We were just trying to, like, make sure that you weren't on this platform anymore. That's basically it. <laughs> You want the reality? That's what it was. He said he'll take accountability for his own actions. And if he doesn't, remind me. You know what, Jeffrey? We have been reminding you for the past couple of years and you haven't been listening. And you said you're gonna be listening from now, but you know what? I promise we'll remind you in a couple of months time when you do something else and you'll be like, y'all hear something? And then in a couple of years, you'll do another one of these videos and you'll be like, remind me if I ever do something wrong. Bitch, we've been reminding you. That's on you, not us. He said he shouldn't have spoke up on things without asking the source. And he said he should have just called James and asked him himself. And he apologized to James Charles. And he said that James and everyone involved knows that there are bigger issues happening in the world. Yeah, there are. And stop using that to try take away from your issues. You know, Jeffrey, because if this was anyone else you were calling out, you would not say that there were bigger issues going on in the world. You would make sure everyone knew about their dirt. But because it's you, you're going, there's bigger issues happening in the world. Shut the fuck up. You P.O.S. Piece of shit. He said, gossip and tea may be entertainment, but the world is falling apart. Jeffrey, the world can be falling apart, and yet you're still being involved in it, because you're the one who creates this. Everyone is making these goddamn videos, because you know what? You started this. You said you had a voicemail. You said you had all this against him. What happened to that? What happened to that, Jeffrey? Did you realize that you didn't have anything? Because I don't even know if you don't have anything. I don't know if you have stuff. I can't say whether you do or not. Because we don't know. <laughs> he said he's never committed a crime and he's never been to jail. You've been blackmailing James Charles and keeping this voicemail over his head though, and you admitted to that on podcasts. Jeffrey, let's talk about that, okay? Oh wait, I didn't mean to crush my can. There's still stuff in here. <laughs> and he said about how it was hard to process everything. Aw, hard to process everything that you started. <laughs> and then he spent so long talking about the Black Lives Matter movement and everything happening there. And you know what? Completely taking away from his own responsibility. Jeffrey, if this was anyone else's drama, you would not have talked about Black Lives Matter. You don't care about that. You're just trying to take away from your own drama. If this was anyone else you were calling out, you would not be bringing that up. We see through it. Everyone online is seeing through this. You brought that up to try dissect and make a longer video doing what's right. It's now a 10 minute long video because you spend most of it not addressing your stuff. If this was about anyone else, it would be 10 minutes of you straight attacking them, even 30 minutes. That's the difference. And then he says about how Shane Dawson is his best friend and he's smiling all the way through this and how Shane is just so genuine, amazing and selfless. I'm one of the most kind people ever. Yeah, to you because you make him a lot of money, Jeffrey. He says he doesn't know Shane's past and Shane doesn't know his and that they don't support each other's past. The entire internet knows both of y'all's past. Of course y'all know them. Everyone's been tweeting both of y'all them for the past couple of weeks. <laughs> he says he knows amazing people today. And then he literally turns the rest of this video into an infomercial about his company saying August is going to be a crazy month for my business. And then talking about his brand and everything like this, he literally turned this video into talking about his brand. That is so disgusting. You are disgusting, Jeffrey. Oh my god. You are, you are crazy. You spent a lot of this video talking about your brand, completely unrelated. Completely unrelated, you're talking about your upcoming releases. We don't give a shit, Jeffrey. No one cares. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Anyway, I'm going to call Will, and we're going to talk about this, because Will really wants me to contact him right now. So, I'm going to call him. Oh, my God. I cannot get over this. Will is going to be in two of my videos now. Oh, my God. This is insane. Sorry. Hello. Hi, bro. Hi. This is so dumb. It's 
so it's so stupid. I'm like upset. I'm so when he brought up Brianna Taylor and then Tamir Rice and then he fucking had the fucking audacity to promote his makeup line. That bitch. I swear to fucking god. Like I don't get mad about YouTube drama, but this is just like upsetting to me as a human being in general. He anyway, hi. Hello. He is literally in different parts of this has been smug about his friendship with Shane Dawson, used this as an infomercial for his brand that August is going to be incredible, used the Black Lives Matter movement to his own advantage whenever, if this was anyone else's drama, he would not have brought that up at all. It would be a 30 minute long video, not addressing that. What's the difference okay. now? I'm upset. I'm upset. He, first of all, fucking 10 minute video. How fucking dare he? How yeah. fucking dare he? He... Someone could speak for three hours straight, nonstop, just talking. Yes. About literally half the shit he's done, mm -hmm. right? And then he addressed some of it, sure, and I'm not going to make him, like, apologize again and again, but he definitely should be addressing the fact that no. he's a he said, he said, I apologize to James Charles. For what? What do you apologize for? He said he it, he said it, like, three he times. He literally, and then he didn't apologize to his audience. He didn't apologize... For anything. He literally talked about, like, one thing. How fucking dare he not address everything? There's so much. There's so much. And he didn't address fucking any of it. How does he have the audacity to do that? And then he's like, guys, there's more important things in the world. Like, whites. Like, um, like racism or whatever. And I'm like, bitch, you are the issue here. That video was so ignorant. And the fact that... This video is getting a lot of dislikes and people are not happy. And you know what? I'm happy because at this stage, he does not deserve to come on here and do a wishy-washy 10, 10 minute long video, by the way, like barely reaching the limit for like mid-roll ads. It's just the fact he's sitting in this rich ass chair with this rich ass background. He says sorry to James Charles multiple times without saying what, didn't say about the voicemail, and then literally turns away from his own problems and then says hold me accountable in the future because he if in two weeks time whenever we need to hold him accountable he's not going to do anything and in two years time when he does another one of these never doing this again videos he's just going to say the same thing and then turning it into an infomercial for his brand the lowest is what like, zero I've done so many great things and i have like all the concealer ranges and all makeup matters like fuck off fuck off i'm my voice cracked. Oh my god! I'm just, uh, I'm just like, I'm just, I can't even believe. I think what he's doing is manipulating his core audience, the one that, the, the people who buy every launch, the yes. people who actually make him the most amount of money. I think he's manipulating them so they can be like, oh, he apologized or whatever, and not actually addressing the general population and the general people who are like mad. He's just addressing this one specific set of people. Who he knows will make the money because he doesn't give a shit about anything but money. And he doesn't care about them. He doesn't care about the people he's hurt. He doesn't care about Black Lives Matter. He doesn't care about Brandon Taylor. And fuck him for using that. And then going straight into an infomercial when this is supposed to be a fucking apology slash explanation video. Stay gone. Stay cancelled. We don't need him. Nobody fucking needs Jeffree Star. And it's the fact as well that not only did he post this video, he changed his layout on every single social media. What, is this your new era? Is this your fucking revival? No. Oh, shut the fuck up, Jeffrey. Shut the actual fuck He, I just, and then he was like, I know it's like not the popular decision to like be a supporter of me or like be my friend. Like, girl, are you commending people for blindly supporting you? Exactly. Well, yeah, that's what he's doing because he's manipulating his audience so he can use them for money. He's right. making like, he's making them think they're such good people and such forgiving people for liking him, so they feel some sort of validation within themselves because they're supporting yeah. a shitty person because they're shitty people he's too. Straight up, just like commending white people for accepting apologies on behalf of black people. I hate him so much. I hate him. I can't. This so is much. this is a 10 minute long video. Not only is it wishy-washy, he looks down oh my god, I forgot to say this in my, he literally looks down at a script multiple times in this video. I don't know if he actually has a script down there, but he goes like this. He's like, I'm so sorry for it. And he reads off the bottom, like his eyes look down and I don't know if he has a script down there, but it's really weird that he said all these like really structured sentences whenever that's not him and he's looking down under the camera. Like what? Is Maddie down there with like literally pages of what to say? Dude, and I'm like, okay, if you want to do script, if you want to get the facts right, if you're going to, like, ex like talk about what happened, like, Tati did, or, like, what James did in his No More Lies video. Yes. Like, getting all the facts. Okay, yeah, use the script. I don't care. 
like say you're gonna use a script you know don't be like i'm speaking from the heart and yes. like look down at a fucking paper fucking how dare he how i um, can't imagine having that audacity i just don't understand i cannot imagine having the bravery to post something that stupid it's, imagine being just that delusional that you think it's good or that you're Jeffrey Star. I just, I'm sorry. I can't. And then the fact that he was like, I'm, not only do we have amazing makeup coming, like, there's so much more coming for my channel. Like, oh, you, you should be, you should be like, oh shit, like, I probably am going to risk a lot here. But no, he's like, oh no, I'm going to come back stronger than ever. And that's the ignorance. Oh, uh, yeah. And then he was like, I've taken, like, two weeks to reflect on myself. Like, you are a whole evil person. You need five years in prison, bitch. If you think about it in terms of overall, this is his statement. That's it. That was what he had to say. And he's like, I'm coming back with, like, tutorials and, like, new launches. Shut up. I, I can't. And, like, there's no excusing anyone who supports him from this point on. There wasn't before, but there's no anymore. Literally, before I was like, okay, like, I get it. Like, you know, be fans of whoever you want. But at this point, I'm fucking tired of it. I'm fucking done with it. If you still support him, you are a racist. You are a bad person. And you're dumb as fuck. It's and literally just giving your money to someone who doesn't care about you at all. I mean, I don't even know how they don't see it. Like, the way he treats his fans like shit over and over and over. The way he yells at people. The way he lashes out at people. The things he said to um, some people in DMs that were friends with him. I don't know if you saw. Actually, Kyle made this whole video about this girl who, like, Jeffrey bought a customized mirror she made off of him and he just like never paid her oh. and then lashed out to her and then blocked her and sent the mirror back because he's an asshole and she was like a fan of him she spent she said she told me she spent two thousand dollars on his makeup That's i just awful. and her fans are like he loves me like he doesn't fucking care about you literally oh my god um this video is a mess and like it's so hard to get my thoughts for it because i have so many so many. He's a bad per He's a bad person. He's a bad person. Such uh, a bad right. person. Period. Okay, anyway, I need to go end my video. I'll see ya. I'll talk to you later. Good luck. Yeah, can we talk later and actually just, like, talk about it without, like, the cameras on? Cut the cameras. Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll see ya. Bye. Okay, everyone, so that is now Will's opinion as well. Will, it wasn't even planned that he was gonna be in this video, and he was like, please, just call me, and we'll talk. So, this video's a mess. Jeffrey, is that it? <laughs> Goodbye.